across any discipline, hobby, or sport, one thing holds true. Those who practice at the highest level will perform at the highest level. Trading is no different. Today's video is going to be talking about deliberate practice and how that relates to trading. Now for those who do not know, deliberate practice is a technique that allows one to focus on specific elements of a skill that they would like to improve. I looked on the internet and I looked for articles and videos that related practice to day trading and I couldn't really find much. So I hope that by today's video you will find these four skills that I'm presenting to you guys quite helpful in increasing your trading skill and trading knowledge. I would also encourage that by the end of the video, you take some of these examples and develop your own drills as well to improve yourself as a trader. Now the first drill I'm going to be talking about is volume. And deliberately practicing trading volume is a very good idea in understanding market direction and continuation and breakdown of trends. In this 10 minute volume drill, the first thing you want to do is set an online timer or a self timer for 10 minutes. Now within those 10 minutes, you need to look at each candlestick and guess if the volume was above or below the moving average. For those on crypto watch, there's a 10 weighted moving average of volume. And a very good way to understand how volume works and how it impacts trends is to try to gauge how much volume was traded during a move. So if I was doing this for the 10 minutes as a drill, as I sometimes do, I would say this would probably be a very high volume point. This as well, because it's a reversal area, reversal area probably here too. And there's probably quite low volume around here as the trend shrunk. Then I would flip on to see if I was correct. And I was correct here. So you can see long tail, high volume. Correct here, you can see um, long tail, high volume. And I was somewhat correct here. I was correct on this candlestick and I was wrong on this candlestick, and about equivalent on this candlestick. It's little drills like this in volume that can really help understanding how volume impacts prices direction of movement. Do that for 10 minutes a day and you will become a much better volume trader. You can also experiment with different time frames to see how that impacts volume as well. In our second drill, I'm going to be talking about market direction. Now, in this one, what you want to do is go to a random price point back, uh, way back, just scroll to a random point, and then try to gauge where you think you would buy and sell based on the knowledge um, of the market right here. This drill is very good if you do not know the market um, that well beforehand. And this drill may not be the best if you have memorized the market's movements in the past. So what I did in this one is I went to a random point on the hourly of Ethereum, and I'm going to try to gauge which way I think price will go. And to do this, I would look at volume and Fibonacci's. We can see here that the 61.8 Fibonacci was just about supported here with the tail down here and in a golfing candle here with good volume. We can see that the bearish volume, the red volume, never really had significant volume until the very end of the trend, which is likely right here, and that there weren't too many strong um, bearish candles, no very strong engulfing candles or strong dojis that really occurred here on high volume, so I'm thinking price is likely to go up. So based on this, I would probably say that I would buy here uh, or buy here and then hope that price would go up. And in this trail, what you want to do is slowly go forward and see when you would sell. <coughs> In this one, I would probably want to sell at the 161.8 retracement. So I would say from here to here, and then sell at the 161.8. Yeah, and then I would probably sell here. I would miss out on this, but I still would have gotten out right here because this seems like a very good place to exit. So that's just a quick look into the second drill that you can do, which is gauging market's direction based on the past by just going to a different point and then thinking, should I buy, sell here? It will price go down or up? This is a very good skill in determining where price will go in the future. And if you continue to practice this daily for about 10 minutes by just looking at these and then recording your answers and recording if they are right or wrong, you can really get a great understanding for understanding 
great understanding for gauging how the market works and how the market operates in trends. In our third example, we are going to be talking about predicting based on current information. And in this example, you want to say in one hour will price be up or down? And this, instead of gauging market direction, is more gauging market bias. Are you more bullish or bearish for the next hour? This just like the skill before where we would go back randomly and look at a price point, gauges how, gauges how you look at a trend and evaluate where it will go based on order flow and Fibonacci's as well. So for this one, I would recommend that you spend about two to three minutes, look at the market and then gauge whether it will be below the point that you're looking at or above in the next hour. Once you do so, close down your computer write down your prediction, and then open it up one hour later to see if you were right, if it went up, or if you were wrong, uh, and uh, went the other direction. This drill is really good for determining just basic bias of the market. Now the fourth example is going to be a little more hands-on. In the fourth example, it's going to be scalping practice. Now what scalping practice is, is really taking that market prediction point that we had just talked about, taking it one step further. So in here, what you want to do is buy and sell the lowest amount of the asset that you're trading as possible. So here, the, the lowest amount you can trade on Gemini is 0 0.001 Ethereum, and this is just 30 cents. And what I like to do is just set up buying and selling orders with these, with these minimum points as just really good practice. So what you're going to do here is for the next hour, buy and sell and scalp uh, Ethereum or Bitcoin or any other coin you're trading and to see your wins and losses on a very very low uh, amount of money. I like this one a lot because you really can't ever lose more than about four to five pennies uh, per session so there's really no risk involved and also no reward except the intrinsic reward of becoming a better trader by trading with very low amounts of money. Now again these are just four very simple drills that you can use, just taking 10, 15 minutes out of your day to try to gauge market direction, volume, and scalping with low amounts of money so you can get ready for trading with large amounts of money. If you have any other drills or any other ways of practice with your trading, absolutely go for it and feel free to share them in the comments. I hope that by watching this video on deliberate practice today, you can find some good strategies to use to improve your trading. Best of luck.